Okay, Tunza Sports is um, an academy that we have set up in the rural areas of uh, Kenya so that we can bring the sports that is very difficult to spread out of the capital and so that um, we can have, uh, you know, the, the talent that's down in the rural areas brought back into to feed them to the country. And um, also it is to improve the living standards of the community through sports because a lot of um, people, sports has really improved their standard of living uh, as a way of life. So Tunza Sports Academy encompasses uh, passion and compassion, passion for the sport and compassion for those who may not be having, you know, they're not privileged in, in their life. Today we are in collaboration with Nairobi Development, which I don't know how long they've been doing their development program, but we never used to have this many years back. So it's really encouraging. And also on social media, if you see a lot of people are starting their programs in whatever pockets or corner of the country that they're in. So it looks good. I think everyone just needs support and hockey is very expensive. So everyone who's starting a program, they just need the support with the equipment. Um, well, I have a lot of veterans, those who've played the game, want to do something, they want to give back to the sport, but they don't have the means to have the proper equipment to, to play. And everywhere that anyone has ever gone in this country to start hockey, there's been a lot of response. Kids come, adults come, the youth come. So it's not that people don't want to play hockey, it's just a very expensive sport. Um, but I believe if there's, if people give back and pour, you know, give back in terms of equipment, a lot of people will develop the, the, the younger kids for, for the future. In this, program, in this program, we've started it, I think it is now six years, and it, it has not been easy, but at least we thank God for where we are now, and the kids are still coming. We started when, I think we started when the kids are not many, but at least now we can see they are coming. we really appreciate for what they've done for us because at least they've given us sticks and balls and these balls are not the same like the other balls which we normally use them at least for the kids they will have something to do 
You don't ball. Yeah. Uh, Tunza Sports started in 2017. Um, it's been in running just, uh, you know, baby steps since then. And um, now we are getting to a phase where we are uh, already, uh, the, the kids that we started with are, are going to high school. Our first batch is going to high school. But it's all, always been just for the girls. We just experimented and started with the girls. But now we've reached a step where we are bringing boy, boys into the picture. So it's been in running for two years and it's going faster than we have actually planned for it. For the kids, one, you have to introduce them to the sticks and the balls. You see, we are, we are using a bigger ball and they're very light plastic sticks to make it easier for them to get the concept. How do you hold the ball? How do you pass the ball? How do you... We, we are not into hitting at the moment. It's just about passing and dribbling. Position. How do you position your feet? How do you hold the stick and how do you move? And vision also. How are you able to move left, right? Yeah, so we don't really go much into fitness. Fitness will come in later. But kids have to grasp the game first. How do you hold? Most important thing, how do you put your feet together? Because the moment you learn that when you're young, then that's how you'll grow with it. Tunza, we know the Kenya Hockey Union is trying to do its best to develop hockey from the grassroots, but uh, the union alone will never achieve this. So people have to come up with different initiatives. So that's one of the reasons we have Tunza, and we try to roll it out uh, down to, to the grassroots, not only in the city, because uh, this initiative uh, from the Kenya Hockey Union and Nairobi Hockey, they only do it in Nairobi. But then someone has to take it down to Kisumu, someone has to take it to Mombasa, Kisi, Lodwa, Samburu, everywhere. <laughs> walimu wamekuja wametufunza vile tunaweza dribble kufanya 3D na kupush ball. Naweza kwenda kucheza forward. Hoki pia ni mchezo mzuri inaweza kusaidia kwa maisha yako. Asante kwa 
kutuletea hizo vitu tunashukuru sana. Mungu awabariki.